Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Dana with From Fertility to Delivery and I'm creating a series of videos, short videos, talking about my spiritual fertility class, which is live and on my website from fertilitytodelivery.com. And in this video, I'm going to talk about class four. Class four is a really big heavy hitter. Uh, class four talks about the actual conception and um, creating a conception cradle. Also working with your Kundalini energy and any, and this is where we also start to dig deep into clearing any ancestral blocks that you have. So let's talk about uh, the ancestral blocks first, because that's important. In your DNA and in your line, your lineage, it could go back 600 years, a thousand years, or way more than that, depending on how many um, ancestors you've had in your line and in your DNA, which all of us have had a ton. Uh, those ancestors and the DNA, it actually, it's coded to hold certain blocks around many, many things from finances and poverty to um, eating disorders, uh, you know, alcoholism, a lot of things are passed down in the DNA and in the ancestry. And the buck can stop with you. You can be, at this point, this is one of the way, well, this is one of the times in your life where you actually wanna be the weakest link on the chain so you can actually break what's happening in the lineage. So we talk about that and we do a short guided meditation to clear the ancestral lineage and DNA. And when you address it, and you confront it, whether you whether it's on a conscious or subconscious level, that speaks volumes and it creates a way for you to heal uh, the, the, the lineage and the energy that's blocking you from fertility. You may be in a lineage that has had many miscarriages uh, or stillbirths, uh, many issues with fertility and being uh, being called barren. You know, when we when we read sacred text and information, whether it's in the Bible or the Torah or anywhere, um, and older uh, avenues of information, we hear women being called barren, and that was like the worst thing you could ever call a woman in um, many like thousands of years ago because it means that she couldn't conceive or she had issues conceiving. So even those tiny little nuances are stuck in the DNA and we go in there and we clear them. We also talk about the Kundalini energy. Now Kundalini is very important. It is the columns that support the conception cradle. And if you were to look at it um, from a visual perspective, it would look like a chalice or a, a cup, uh, a vase. Um, almost like a wine glass where the stem is the the actual kundalini energy and having a strong firm foundation of kundalini energy is really important so we talk about kundalini um, rising i'm not necessarily here to expedite that process because it's something that could really be overwhelming for a lot of us if we try to just force it so we're not forcing it we're just accepting it acknowledging it and working with those energies to create it, um, create it in a, in a stronger way. Everyone already has Kundalini and Kundalini is actually, um, it, you envision a coiled snake that's completely compressed and coiled inside of each, inside of itself at the root of your spine. And then the Kundalini energy is that snake rising uh, right on your on your spine, moving up and up and up to the crown chakra. And I go over all the chakras and I go over everything in the class. So we talk about we talk a lot about that, and we have an exercise and a meditation to go through the kundalini and strengthen it. So that's important. Then we have the conception cradle. Now this is something that most people don't know about. Um, you know, if you've studied spirit baby books and, th and conception cradle books, um, conscious conception books, then you'll probably see some information about it, but um, it's an energetic uh, vessel. Uh, and it's, it's something that, you know, we hear about like the, uh, the Holy Grail. We, talk, we hear a lot about that in certain religions that um, the Holy Grail is uh, an actual chalice to create fertility. We also see it in the tarot with um, the Ace of Cups. 
And that um, card in the tarot connotes actual fertility. Um, it's, it uh, symbolizes fertility when it comes up in a reading. And that's where this came from. So all of these things are put together and I explain it very deeply in the class. So the conception cradle, if you were to, ex if I were to try to explain it or visually try to explain it, I would say that this is the mother and that this is the father and they come together. And so where my uh, arms are attached, that is the Kundalini energy. And this part is the vessel or the grail, uh, the chalice, the, the wine goblet, whatever you want to call it, it creates an actual goblet. And their spirit baby is right here in the center and nestles on an energetic level. So the energy is created for the spirit baby to nestle right in there. And this is the time when conception begins. Now, this is a self-paced class. So, you know, you, you have access to all the modules at once, but do yourself a favor and please do not skip to uh, the conception cradle just to get everything else out of the way. You have to create the energy. It has to be there. It has to be flowing. It has to be ready to create the conception cradle. If you move too fast and you just go straight there, you're going to miss the foundation of it. You know, you can't bake a cake without making sure all the ingredients are precise, without preheating the oven. So you can't really move fast and, and go to class four and just think, okay, I'm just going to get it done. That's not how fertility and conception works. It is a slower process and there's divine timing involved. So that is really important. Uh, this class, it explains everything and then also the meditations are very deep and connected. So as you go through these, um, these meditations, and I go through an introduction to the meditations, how to do the meditations um, in, the, in the quiet and peacefulness of a serene environment. Um, just making sure that you go through everything step by step. But this is the step. This is the, I call it the meat and potatoes. This is like the juicy step of conception. Now keep in mind that there is always divine timing. Uh, you could be doing this one week before your spirit baby decides to um, accept the, con the contracts and sign everything on an ener energetic level and come earthside, or you could be doing it a year before they decide that they want to come in. Everything is divine timing. That's why I can't really guarantee that anyone gets pregnant. IVF can't guarantee that either. Uh, so there's, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening in this way. But if you're getting tugs from your spirit baby, and many of you are, that's why you're here watching this, uh, this video, uh, it means that you are in the vicinity of that. So you might as well create the energetic alignments so that you're there in a ready way, in a readiness way. You might as well preheat the oven because you got to bake the cake or you got to put the bun in the oven. And uh, that is really what I wanted to talk about today. So in the next class, um, the next class is about the Akashic Records and clutter clearing. So keep stay tuned. And as I've said in all the videos, I do offer 10% discount. It is from, sorry about that. It is, um, Spirit Baby 10, and that gives you 10% off on my website, uh, from fertilitytodelivery.com. And if you email me, then I will offer an even deeper discount of 20, of, um, of more, <laughs> more, more off. Um, and that could fluctuate the percentage. I don't wanna say the percentage on here, but it could, that could change it in the future, but it is a deeper discount. So email me at fromfertilitytodelivery at gmail.com, or, um, you know, sign up for my newsletter and uh, you'll get that information or you can even direct message me. Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited you're here. I'm honored and humbled that you're here and look forward to the next video where we talk about the Akashic Records, clearing that, clutter clearing, um, and also connecting uh, to new pathways of, um, of clearing the energy on an Akashic level. Thank you so much and many blessings.